I'm back. <laughs> so long story short as I can make it, I just got done working out. It's about a little after seven at night. And when I was doing my cardio, I was just watching different YouTube videos just to pass the time. And one of them that I watched was from this channel, I'll link it below, Jocko. Um, he has this podcast and he is a retired a Navy officer. And so where I really have related to his videos is Dude, it totally applies to how I feel about wrestling, a lot of the videos that he has. Not just wrestling, other aspects too, but like being that athlete, what goes into it and things like that. <clears throat> so the one tonight that I watched was about discipline. And something that pisses me off about myself is like, I'll be super disciplined for like a long time and then I fall off. And it like pisses me off because like when I bitch about my weight, people think like, oh God, or whatever, but it's not about like how I look so much. It's about what goes into when I am on top of my fitness and a healthy and balanced diet and everything that goes into it, how I feel and how that affects my mental and physical health. Cause you know, I have GI tract issues since I was a little girl. So I feel sick a lot, you know? And when I'm not on track and like as healthy as I could be, it just flares up a lot, you know? And so one of the things that really bothers me is when I was in Kentucky and um, I lived in this house, I talk about all the time with wrestlers, that was one of the best times for me mentally and physically because I lived in a house of wrestlers. So we were all there to support each other. Um, you know, we medicated together, we, had our little powwows you know like we've related and we for the most part worked out at the gym together too you know and I remember there was one time I was already on TV and I had to go on a flight one of my roommates dropped me off at the airport and then he was gonna meet with my other roommates at the gym so when I went to the airport I th it was something like my flight got canceled and I couldn't fly out until the morning or something like that it was a red-eye flight so I called him to come get me back and he was just like, well, that, do you mind if I take you back to the gym because we're working out? I was like, that's fine. So I was like, well, I'm at the gym, might as well. And I'll never forget, one of the guys that was in that group was Damian Sandow, Aaron Stevens. And I remember he was like, you're one of the most disciplined people I've ever known. And I was never taught discipline growing up. It was just something that I always craved as I was like a little ass girl and I would just be like, man, you know, I, I wanna have that discipline. And I was in track from like first grade till um, junior high, a little bit of high school. And I just love that, like that discipline, learning about that discipline, you know? So living in that house was such a blessing. And I know earlier today I posted a video and I was like, you know, there's these stuck up people and wrestling, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of wanted to end the day in a more positive note because I don't want people to sit, think I sit around and I'm like all, all pissed off about wrestling. Like there's so much good that came out of my wrestling career too. And I want to make that really clear. And this is one of them, you know, when I watched that video, it reminded me of myself and who I am. And one of the things that they brought up in the video is uh, because Jocko says, you know, one of the questions I get was, was I always disciplined or being in the Navy? Is that what made me disciplined? So that's what the topic kind of how it caught brought up. And one of the things that they talked about was that there's a purpose, like he had these goals, these per this purpose, and that's why he was working hard on that discipline. And he says in the um, video that he wasn't naturally good at everything. So he had to work really hard. And I really relate to that because it wasn't until later in my career, I realized a lot of people got into wrestling at a really young age or they were around it or they knew because of where they live, you know, it was just a, like in back in the day, the West Coast, there wasn't much independent wrestling going on. You know, it was WWF, WCW, you know, whatever. So, it was one of those things where I didn't have any guidance even with my wrestling career. I just like knew that was my purpose, my path, and I went for it and the rest is history, right? And so after I got fired from WWE, I went to TNA. And if 
you recall, <laughs> there's a time where I was the pay-per-view I did, you know, I have a little bit of a panza from them when I was in Ariel on WWE. And it's because I lost my discipline for a little bit because I was super depressed because I got fired from WWE. And so once I was in there with TNA, it's like I had that purpose again. I had a brand new character. It was awesome. I had this purpose and I dropped that weight and I finally got back to where I was. And again, it's not just about the weight and wanting to be skinny. It's about a lot of that mental health and what it did for me. And I've always been since I was a little girl, the way I release is walking. That's why when people are like, oh, you don't have to kill yourself with cardio. It's like, I'm fine with it. Because even back when I lived in Kentucky and whether I was under contract or I was already on TV, I would go to the gym a lot when I was in you know, Kentucky and if I wasn't on the road, and I would just get this release. And that's what I, and I, I get in a fight with my boyfriend at the time I had there. I would just go on with these long ass walks. I remember people be like, dude, I saw Shelly walking down this like weird, like out in the middle of nowhere. And it's just, that's what I do. And so it's like, I was able to refine my purpose with TNA. And then when I quit, it was like, I had to find that again. So I kind of went through that again. And then when I went back to the indies and I was like, dude, I just want to do the indies full time. I want to be one of those people that like make their living by doing the independence on the weekend. And so I had that purpose again and I was going to training and taking it really, really serious. Going to Los Lucha. I will always give props to Los Luchas. It's like the best classes I ever had in my whole wrestling career. Um, you know, and also back in the day when I did Lucha with Martin or Martin, Martin, Marine, <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. Martin Marin, Martin Marin, ah, the people in SoCal are like, oh, there goes Shelly, whatever. But you know, um, WPW back at the Anaheim um, marketplace, you know, that was another time it was very much like maybe it's just lucha training I love, you know, but it gave me that purpose, you know. And when I got kicked out of the wrestling school, um, it was like, I lost a little bit of that purpose again. And I was still able to like, cause I was wrestling on the weekends, but that's when I was starting to get burnt out from wrestling and realizing that like, even in the independence, there was just a whole political scene going on and the shadiness. It wasn't just when, you know, you're on TV or not, it was everywhere and I just didn't like it. So it wasn't for me and I was tired of looking the other way, you know? And I'm not saying everybody's that way, but it's definitely there. And I feel like now more than ever with like the dark side of the ring, people are maybe seeing it a little bit more where to me, all this stuff is like, I'm not saying it's right, but it's like, yeah, it's normal, you know? But um, that's what I realized that like, I've been struggling so much with my discipline in these last few years because it's like I kind of lost my purpose because I got so, so hurt with wrestling that like I just lost my purpose. And even though I had these moments where I know what I'm supposed to be doing, I allowed that like depression, that hurt, that disappointment within myself to hold me back and then I wasn't being disciplined. And I'd have my moments, you guys have seen throughout the years, you know, I'm disciplined, 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 and then I fall off. And you know, it's just so cool that we have things like YouTube. I know it can be a toxic place and social media, but it's also a place where like, I, I someone that struggles while I was having moments where I was like, yes, dude, I'm on the right path, you know? I had a really rough day in the last couple of days with my health. So I've been really taking it easy, but I was like, dude, I have to go and do some cardio. I just have to, because I need to keep with that discipline. And with discipline, there's freedom and I've experienced that and I crave that again. And I think that I had to rediscover my purpose to get right back on track. And I'm just really hoping that I continue to stay on this track and I don't fall off the track again because it's super hard and it was just on my heart to share all this with you guys. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. I've got lots to do. I got some stuff to shoot and then I got some stuff to shoot tomorrow. So if you're waiting on content for me, it's coming. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Adios.